Alright, hello world, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be keep working on our um, um, Carlet uh, web application. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick up where we left off, the learn feature, right? So if you recall, right, the learn feature would do would be basically be able to give you a question and for you to answer, and then you can click on one of the option choices. Um, so I made a I made a few, I think one changes is last time we said there's a problem with status. Um, was this how we kept, uh, keep this dictionary? Well, here's how we're going to handle it. Uh, rather than just doing um, Jinja, I'm, I'm going to create a span tab um, that just basically set the display to none so the viewer or the user can't really see it. And then we're going to be able to uh, add the status into uh, the span tag. And um, status will be a strain, will be a JSON string, basically. And then we'll have to modify it. We'll just load it back. And then we can do something with it. So then the thing is, we'll, do, we'll define the answer function then. Since then, that's why. So answer. And here's what's going to happen. Um, so basically, answer. We have to know what's the right answer. Right? We have to know what's the right answer. So I think here's what's going to happen. I'm going to just declare var correct. And then in generate question. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, well, this is fun. Um, okay, so I guess here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna say for if rand in bracket i equals equals. that uh, actually it's equals equals then I'm just gonna say correct equals to and uh, let's set it to I okay so then we're going to have this function. I'm going to call the answer. And I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to console.log correct. So we're going to log that variable. Um, let's see. So what happened? It's undefined. OK. Maybe I can't do it like this then. You're saying I mean if we're assuming if if we're assuming that that the user are not gonna be just source we could just put the answer in it. We could just do that. So let's take a look. Okay, yeah, this works. Actually, if this works, I mean, honestly, I don't really need that I can just say var status uh, 
of our status and then can write G just for global or something. And I can just say status G equals status. And then that would still work most likely. Okay. So um, so I guess in here I'm uh, just going to do a couple of things. I'm going to just do that. That's not going to change. That's always going to be that. And in here, you can just say, and select it, right? And then in here, we can write var current pk. So the primary key. Okay. So I guess we'll do this current I'll just write current PK equals index like that. And then in here we're just gonna need data and the status. So then we need a var data g. And then in here, I guess I will just write data g equals data. And in here, I'm going to just write, just do, let's do a couple of things. Let's just log all of these the console because why not oh well uh, actually that is g is status g probably not the best convention honestly but like if it works it works okay yeah it works so perfect. So then, yeah, we bypassed it by just, I don't know, calling a function. Uh, okay. So then in here, then let's see. So then our data G, okay. So then in here we're gonna write if data g uh, if answer selected does not equal to correct. Actually if it equals to correct. Right, if it equals to correct, let's do triple. If it equals to correct, I don't know, that was fine. Just, okay. All right, so do double, double, just check the value, not the type. I would, don't worry about the type right now. So, yeah, okay. So then in here, well, I guess my idea is just going to be status G bracket. Oh, I need the index of the question. Mm, okay, so it's in current PK. Current PK. Uh, plus plus. I don't know if that's something you can do or if you have to write equals, but yeah. Otherwise, we're going to stay the same. Well, actually, based on our order, I'm gonna plus equals two. Plus equals two if it's wrong. Status g bracket current pk plus equals two. So then we can do console.log status g. 
Okay, so let's look at this. Um, so we're gonna click on the right one. So we can see, okay, four is not a number. So I'm assuming four is Avogadro's law. And anyway, so let's try to answer the question correctly to see if it works. So Microsoft. Weird. Okay. So that means current peak is not set correctly then. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's not set correctly, okay. Data bracket index bracket PK. That's a puffer. Okay. Let's refresh the page again. Okay, wait. So red is the color. Okay, so let's just red. Okay, that works. Okay, so then if I do Google. Okay, so yeah, th th that works. Perfect. Um, now the next thing is we'll have to do We have to generate the question again. But okay, so see the issue we're having is we can do what how should we handle the next question? So generate question. Okay, I'm gonna call generate question again. I'm gonna call generate MC question. So whenever there's a generic question, I'm going to call it to generic MC question. Because generic short answer will be a different story. Okay, so we'll pick a word. Alright, so that's LCF. Once there's probably there's definitely way more efficient way to do this, but right now, it's all the way to five. Okay. Uh, three. So not okay, so yes. All right, yes on that. So let's call pick word. I think that's all we're going to do. Of our index and then generate Status G. Data G. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. So, oh, college board. Okay. So, if I do a college board, okay. So then. If I answer this wrong, it Microsoft, Google, Google, Microsoft. Okay, so it's giving me the same thing as 
That's weird. I don't want her to duplicate. I don't want her to duplicate. Okay. So let's see. Pick word if val equals to this near val. Basis. Basis G. Yeah, okay. So I don't want it to. If I do Microsoft, I'm going to answer everything correctly. So that means I don't see. Now I see a duplicate for some reason. I don't know why that happens. Because in theory, right? In theory, this shouldn't be even in it anymore. So I guess we'll just start off with zeros. Okay. Avogadro's law. Page again. Make sure I can actually see it. Okay. So yeah, this log zero. College board. Okay. Now one number is gone. Google. Okay. Now another number is gone. Microsoft. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see how far we can do. So I guess that's going to be the goal to give no duplicates. And then in the next video, we're actually going to worry about. Uh, so right now, this is going to give no duplicates. And then we're going to worry about the, because the whole ranking thing is going to be a while, in my opinion. Data G. Okay, so so Google, right? So Google is gone, and Google is seventeen. That's right. So I don't know why is it possible for us to take another Google question. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I see the problem. It's because we need to blow vote. We need to blow vote these arrays. Well. Okay, so okay, I guess a problem we are having is <laughs> really stupid. Okay, but I guess what we will do is we'll do this. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a full mess here. If zeros bracket i equals equals
Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah. so hard okay so i need to give you the index in the data in data g because data g is actually keeping track and data g is what we're gonna get referred uh so it's actually the data g so basically you loop through the data g and in here yeah so status is whatever but data g is what actually So object dot keys Well data G actually I can just do this. Data G dot links I plus plus if data G bracket I bracket fields bracket Word. No, not bracket word. Bracket. Actually, not even bracket. Just bracket P. Well, it's the one in zeros. Okay, so then we're gonna say var target PK equals zeros brackets brand int. And then here we can say, okay, if it's equals to the target PK, I don't even know what I'm doing by now. Okay, so if it's equal to the target PK, we actually want to return I, basically. Let's refresh the page. Let's refresh a couple times to make sure it's like we're getting properly parsed. Okay, so rent in is not defined. Oh yeah, it's rent in the rent in the. Okay, so a couple of things. Seventy eight cannot read property of on the. Find had that actually not been initialized yet? Oh my lord, that is just not even been initialized. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just put it regardless. And then, so when you call it, you need the data. And then when you call it, It actually doesn't really matter because how fetch works. Fetch is fetch made everything really annoying, basically. Okay, let's see how it's gonna work this time. So Microsoft Avogadro's law, Red College Board, Google, Google, Google. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the list is empty. That's exactly how it's supposed to go. All right. So, Microsoft. Let's start failing some of the questions. Okay, that makes sense. Because right now, basically, no matter how you try it, it's going to give you one try. And then, basically, each round, we're going to define a round. Seven questions. Questions per round. So it's gonna be seven questions. And then we're gonna say var has to turn currently question done equals zero and then gonna do regardless. If it's correct or not, plus equals plus four just plus plus. Okay, so when it reaches, so then I guess we can start coding some of the logic. 
in here is the goal is for zero to be gone. And then we're going to say if zero dot length equals equals zero, then let's do that. I don't know if JavaScript has the same thing in Java, we're just going to indent and that's going to do this in this or whatever. So else if z twos dot length equals 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 zero. Twos dot length. Sure, why not? Okay, so then yeah, we can do do here. Oh, it's not zero. I mean, it's not zero. Okay, so here's how it's gonna happen, I think. So if it's already even, if status g bracket current pk is not zero. And status g bracket current pk is unfortunately even. If it equals equals zero for okay, the Morgan's law right here. Uh, So basically, if it's not even, then we can allow it to increment by two. Otherwise, just stay at whatever the number you're at. Because, right, because if it's two, based on our two is MC wrong. And then if you get that wrong, again, it's going to go to four. But then how we set this is then, okay, if it's two, if it's two, then it's going to get the answer wrong again. It's going to stay two. Okay, it's going to stay two. Actually, we're going to change how this works as well because how we did the status. I don't think status is a good idea now. Uh, it really depends on if current PK. Okay, we're going to worry about. So, this I'm going to add a to do. Can't just increment by one. Mm. Actually, yeah. Wait, this is wrong, right? That's right. Wait, equals equals. Okay. There is some logic issue. Increment. So, like for IE, MC come uh, zero to one, but one to three. I hope I can remember when I do it in the next video. So, basically, the issue is I need one point to do MC complete. But I need multiple, I need two points to go from MC complete to fill in complete. So that's an issue. And that's going to rain down this whole thing. So this whole thing and logic issue we need to fix. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to see if we can fix it in the next video. But let's refresh the page. Just make sure we don't leave any syntax error. And then we can, I will quick summary Let's see Hugo and then Hassan and on whatever click on whatever move forward and Hassan okay perfect all right so um
So basically in this video what we did is we implemented, we basically finished the MC part essentially. And I think the next video what we're going to do is we are going to, sorry about my phone. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, either implement the short answer feature or implement the save feature. Because after the complete sound question, we want to uh, synchronize it to the cloud prob uh, or to the backend server. Probably call an API or something, just send in the status and it will update it. That's probably what we'll do, but we will see. Uh, well, we can do the fill in part, that's fine with me too. You know, just do the fill in um, feature first. So, and then to figure out how, how is it going to switch um, between MC and fill in and stuff like that. Because ideally, yeah, so. Because the reason we have multiple stages is because we want to put the MC wrong at the end if there's feeling they can do. We want to prioritize uh, like the odd number rather than the even number, sort of. I, that doesn't really make any sense. But uh, we'll see how that's going to work. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment through to comment down below. As always, stay safe and great your day. That's me.